Good morning, you savages. So, this ARB drama, um, this whole ARB to Apex situation has got me thinking. I haven't made any um, ARB bashing videos recently. I haven't made any videos recently. Um, the last one was probably just messaging, message to Devaraj and his insanity. Um, but watching this, this happen at this point, I'm speculating the, uh, I'm speculating what's going on. So the way I see it is if they ask you to change your ARB tokens, because arbitraging apparently doesn't exist anymore, to Apex tokens. Um, again, speculating, the way I see it, is you may be giving up your rights to any legal action that you could possibly um, present against arbitraging.co, David Peterson, or whoever the fuck's in charge of this shit. I just, again, you know, follow me on this. If you don't own ARB anymore, arbitraging tokens anymore, you're not part of the platform anymore, you've turned it over to this Apex thing. By doing that, it seems that you may have given up your right to uh, to any legal action. I, I, again, it's just my thoughts. But, see the fiasco that's, that, that it's come to. This, you know, you were made promises now, people forget you and me promises in, in arbitraging when it first came out with that fucking stupid commercial with the, the cartoon about how it could never lose, the bot could never lose, the bot would always make you daily passive income. Um, this this was all about the bot. People forget that this was all about the bot. I don't give a fuck about the changes as it, as it progressed and, and, and quote unquote evolved. That was part of the scam, the evolution of, of arbitraging to to the block exchange, to the now, to the shadow tree, or whatever the fuck they were trying to do, whatever bullshit they were trying to feed you along the way. It was just smoke and mirrors all the way down the line until you were completely bled out. You know, they promised you a trading bot, a daily passive income trading bot that existed, that that PJ3, the, the, the fucking one of the champions of our, who disappeared, Scamming ass motherfucker, complicit as fucking hell. Him, chat box, crypto, all these fuckers disappeared early because they had already made their money, did what they had to do, got as many people into this fucking platform as they fucking could, and then walked away. They fucking promised you something, and you got nothing for it. Those promises were just lies. Nobody remembers this, this commercial, nobody remembers the, the lies that were told along the way by every single complicit fucking promoter 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 promoting the scam so you know it's come to this where it's now apex and i don't know what fucking people believe that uh you were going to turn your arm into apex and all of a sudden it was going to be this mysteriously fucking overinflated coin price of 59 cents first of all that was Completely overinflated, which just dropped right down to two cents. Drop, drop down to the price of what an ARB token is worth, which is all it's worth, which is nothing. You know, I don't know two cents. I don't know it's holding even that. I don't even know what the fuck it's at today. I didn't even bother looking because it's such a fucking bullshit. But, but a lot of people, you, you know, you should be, you should be so fucking mad. And and uh, I mean, I don't follow any of these chat rooms and Telegram um, pages as much, where. You know, people are complaining, and um, you know this this shit. It went to shit where everyone would fight with Saint or Tick or Gandhi or me or anyone else that was telling you this, and and you know you get angry people just you know I get it. They're angry because you know it's their investment and their uh, you know you know you 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 fucking with their investment, but you know really really not you telling people that they're they're in something that may be a fucking scam or maybe bad for them stop fucking with their investments just telling people the truth or you were lied to by so many people i mean they the lies were so good that you were so angry at anyone that would tell you any different well i didn't think the lies were that good it was like sometimes clear as day but you know, I don't know what's going to happen past this. I mean, Devraj yesterday made a video about how he needs to come out with it. David Peterson needs to come up with a use case. This guy's so 
he's so complicit. I, I can't, I can't believe that he's that stupid. He has to be complicit in this where he, he's still telling you that, you know, if there's a use case that you really could save it, nothing's going to save this shit, man. So, so, so bad on so many fucking levels. So many, so many wrong people, so many fucked up people. Listen, I'm sorry. There's no such thing as a daily passive income on that level. You know, I get it. The dream is there, but, and, and you know, who the fuck knows what can happen in the future. But for now, the amount of scams that have been perpetrated in crypto space are, are sickening. There's so many that have 404 disappeared, scammed out on money, completely fucking robbed people. It's just sad. Sad to watch this happen. You know, and I, I um, I'm a big fan of of blockchain technology. I'm just not a fan of um, people losing money on this level. It's sickening to watch. Sickening. Look at the people that are out there that just, you know, these people should be walking the streets in fear every day because you don't know who's invested. There's there's not just the the promoters that you see on YouTube, the promoters that you see in these chat rooms. There's actual real people that put their money in into these scams and and they're a little pissed about it because they were promised things no matter what people say about how well you know you could lose your money and you know you're investing in something and possibly lose your money. That, that's a given but the le the level of of um promotion that was put forth to these people the lies that were told to these people the lies that were told to the, these people that were investing was just sickening and you know you had pj3 this cunt this fucking you know, this guy's walking the streets right now, and he doesn't know his investors. He put his face out there on on YouTube. He may come across one random investor one day, and that motherfucker may light him up or kill him for that matter. Who the fuck knows? People are funny about their fucking, about their money. You know, some people don't like losing $100. Some people, that's they're not comfortable losing that much money. Some people aren't comfortable losing $5,000. You know, it depends. I don't know what your level of comfort is, but I don't know where your loss level is that triggers you to do something stupid, but there's, there's different levels of, of what people could lose to trigger them to fucking want to hurt somebody. You know, I, I remember seeing in a live stream, and I swear it was Austin's live stream back when Austin was making videos, about a guy who mortgaged his house and, and, and put money into our... I mean, I know if I fucking mortgage my house put into ARB on some lies and uh, and lost that, besides the fact that my wife would shoot me in the face, I, I'd be fucking livid, man, and I'd, I'd want to go, I'd want to go after that, that person who sold me that fucking box of shit, but, um, yeah, there's, there's, you know, the, the, the main promoters that disappeared, you, you know, Crypto Whale, PJ3, fucking cat box, chat box, who all sold you this lie and fucking insisted, insisted how uh, futters were wrong and this is fucking gonna make you money and million, you know, PJ3 sold the fucking, the A-Bot. Goddamn fucking pieces of shit, man. So where is it at now? You know, where does it go now? You know, now it's, now you have Apex tokens that you traded for your, what do they do? They don't do shit. Where does it go from there? Next, next stop, 404. And then what are you going to do? I don't think anyone in, in crypto is going to do anything. The, the crypto is still like the Wild West. I don't ever see anyone getting arrested for anything, really, rarely. I think that, you know, people have said, oh, well, he, this David Peterson shows his face. He's, he's out there. But you know his name, Jeremy Roundsville. You know, he's showing his face. What's the fear here? I think he, he operated in fear or he's not, he's not the, um, the one and only there's something else behind that but you know with that being said let's just call it David Peterson he operated with no fear selling you this dream and then I think that it's carefully orchestrated to to get to a point where he he's not gonna accept any level of responsibility because there's probably no laws that that are gonna be able to, to do anything about this people say the SEC you know you know it's not covered by the SEC this, I don't know what this is covered. I don't know 
whose jurisdiction this is. Like Dan went to the FBI, I personally think that was a fucking scam. That was just some bullshit. Uh, where the fuck's he now? He, another one who disappeared. Well, what did he do? Where did he go? What happened? I don't see the FBI. You know, if the FBI had, had knowledge of this, uh, the way this operated, they'd have had to have been all over this by now. I mean, am I wrong? Who knows? But, um, it sadly seems like it has come to an end. That's what I see. Um, for people that are probably never going to get their investment back. And it's going to be interesting to see. You know, it was a year and a half of fucking long drawn out fucking pain for people. It's going to be interesting to see what happens next. I'm completely interested. You know, and, and like I said, there there's people out there that straight scams you, man. There's promoters that straight scams you that people are going to harbor some ill intent and ill will towards and who the hell knows what could happen to those people people are fucking funny you know i've seen people end up dead for less who the hell knows what, what what's on someone's mind the average person who lost money you know who, who knows it's a dangerous situation i wouldn't want to be in, in that situation where i have to look over my shoulder because you know i was out there promoting something and I don't know who the fuck I was promoting to, you know, like that PJ3, do you know who you're promoting to? You're promoting some psycho. May want to have it in for you. Same with David Peterson. You're promoting to, you know, uh, people that um, may have it in for you. Anyway, any of you uh, are promoters out there, or any of you retards that that always cheerlead for our like people like Sam Hines is always in. I saw him in a uh, E and J's live stream the other day, the day they, the day before, the day of the release of Apex. How it's going to be a ten dollar token? You sick, twisted, fucking psychopath! You're always in someone's fucking live stream, cheerleading, saying dumb shit like that. Neither you're complicit as well, or you're a fucking straight retard, man. People like you are even worse than the promoters because the promoters are. Or, or, or fucking just paid fucking shills who are doing their job to perpetrate a fucking fraud on people. But it's people like you, the cheerleaders, who have this blind faith, a weird analysis of, of, of how crypto works or how ARB works, actually. You you would swear that it would be like, you know, the famous lines, ARB's a thousand dollar token. In what fucking planet is the thousand dollar token? It's a shit show, man. So, anyone who's a fucking pro arb bitch, come to the live stream tonight. We ask people all the time to come on Drunk on Crypto. I'll leave the link in the description. And tell us how, how arb's great. How arb made your life better. Or come tell us how arb made your life worse. I'd like to hear from people. Um, you're welcome to come in. There's there's a link. You can come and and talk on you know on screen live, and tell us what I want to know your story. If you're if if you're fucking miserable about this, if you're angry about this, if you're still pro arb, anybody is welcome to come in and tell their fucking story. By all means, it would be entertainment for us as well. I mean. And if not, you just come watch Drunk on Crypto. We're a bunch of fucking retards. We act real dumb, get drunk sometimes, and just act stupid, talk shit about crypto in general. It doesn't always have to be about ARB, of course. It's it's just crypto in general. You're welcome to come. So, with that, don't know what to tell you about ARB. I'm, I'm um, concerned for the investors that actually did lose money, for the real investors, not the fake fucks who always talk shit and threaten, who... You know, people who actually silently invested their money and, and lost it, it's a fucking shame. And I, and I, and also maybe we like to hear from people who, who were, you know, changed maybe by anyone like Saint or, or myself or Gandhi or Ticker, anyone who, who warned you, maybe you got out and you're happier because we have examples of that we know of. I want to hear from the average person. You're welcome to come on. You can be anonymous. You can, you don't have to show your face. It'd be cool to, cool to see that. So, all right, have a good day. I'm out.